So we've just taken the fragments back to him. He's sellotaped them back together. Bit of glue. And we have to now take it back to his student, who is the first person we were talking to when we started the uh, session. Um, who's just back on the other side of Rivendell. And then uh, kind of make them see if they, they uh, understand the uh, antique we're object we've reassembled. We're kind of teaching them a lesson because she was relying on the... Uh... The snow beast, not snow beast. The what? Was, what are the little leggy things called? Snow lurkers. Yeah, well, the lurkers to pick up like the pieces of the like pieces of ancient, you know, like vases or whatever they were. Uh, and because of that, they were kind of like in poor condition. So she was like, "Hey, look, look, look!" To her master, and her master's kind of being like, She's "So lazy. She doesn't even understand like the you know like doing it herself." Blah blah blah. So he had to go dig through a few snow piles because you know. He's not doing it himself, so whatever. Uh, and we brought the jagged fragments back to him, and he's kind of like being like, "Oh yes, reassemble them into a vase." And then you take it to uh, his uh, his you know, student, and she's like, "Wow, that's amazing! Was was that in Master Elrond's uh, collection or whatever?" And it's just like, "No, it was you know, it was yeah, it was the vase out the parts that you were like hunting for in the snow, but whatever." Bitch slap, there we go. Alright, um. So, back to Deliros then. Uh, Laris Sharpsod, isn't he at Foreign's Hall? No, he's defending. He, he's down in oh, he's at the other crag. Land. Okay. Yeah, he's at High Crag Land. Okay, so that's fine. Um. And the other one's at High Crag as well, so that's okay. Pretty much. Probably just miss on my kind of way, my way <laughs> back up there. Uh huh. It's, it was that, tempting to me for going back to Delirious, but I think that's slightly taking the piss. But I will move for camp up to the second guy. Yeah. Just For, to save fortunately, that's the only kind of up and down to Rivendell for some time. Yeah, so we won't have to worry too much about this anymore. And it should be a bit more focused, actually, around the rest, so... Yeah. The, the first bit's a bit messy. The other problem I have with the captain, and it's kind of been all the way throughout, is... They are so slow to level. Wait, they are perhaps the slowest class in the game to level. Yeah, these days, probably, I wouldn't say any class is really lagging behind the others. You know, any class, stick it in the DPS line and pretty much off you go, really. So, Captain has got the worst DPS line out of all the classes. Yeah, Hand, you've still got your hell on that, so. <laughs> Like hands down, got the work. Like you know, any of the primary DPS classes, you can like immediately, di like you know, like you know, hand wave as being worse because you know, something like a hunter or a champion, like even like an RK, is never going to be bad at clearing the landscape. Yeah, hmm. you know, like prim primary damage law master, pretty damn quick. Primary damage minstrel, well, bloody hell, I level <laughs> one. No, I level one. The minstrel is nice. I level one. I'm looking forward to that actually when we start the next region. I leveled like a cap in 10 days or whatever when the kid needed more healers, didn't they? Yeah. Um, uh, Warded, yeah, group it up, shout it down. You've seen you've seen plenty of that going on before that uh, in the previous vids. Um, you know, even Guardian is kind of like respectable champion light when in DPS mode. And oh, Bjorning of course is kind of just like group them up and shout and like, <laughs> maul and like maul them to death. I love maul that. Maul everything to death. Thra thrash tier one, thrash tier two, thrash tier three. Is it dead? No. What? <laughs> yeah. What is this new devilry? Anyway, we're we're in the high crag now. Um, so smack bang in the very middle of the map. Um, we can just ride east from Gloin's camp, and it will slowly take us around here. I'm getting, I'm getting attacked by a bald eagle. Help me. Okay. Help me, bald eagle. I'm, I'm sure you'll live. Down with America. Down with the eagle. So I'm just going to pick up all these quests, a couple of hand-ins here as well. There is a task board here if you're trying to hand in tasks. I've already done that for the day though, so I don't need to worry too much about that. Um, there's also some Dwarf Iron around the back. So we're going to get some, some various questing deeds in here. I can't remember what they all give, but from what well, I remember the last one is two tiers of um, innocence, yeah. Which is quite nice to have, so you definitely want to get that done. 
Um, it's, and it's only 30 quests as well. It is, yes. It's, there's not that many quests in the Misty Mountains. That's why it's probably the weakest of the 40 to 50 kind of regions. Oh, yeah. In um, terms of like actual content of what you get, there's probably only about 60 quests up here, I'd say. Not including Goblin Town quests. Yeah, and Goblin Town's a bit of a Asshole. shit place, yeah. <laughs> um, so you kind of want to do it once for the scenery, and that's generally about you're it. Going the wrong way. Uh, I am indeed going. No, isn't it's not. No, it's, no, no. Oh, is that way? It's, okay. It's north first. You've got to go up. Conveniently, of course, this this also is going to uh, show us the one like one of the explorer deeds of this region is the four passes. Yep. Uh, so, so one of the passes was was going up the way that we did before. Kirillus Um. Yeah. One coming up from Rivendell. Yeah. Kirillus The second Lagerus. one was going up the northern Bruin in source, wasn't it? Nope. I can't remember second, what they are. Second one is where the stable master is at Van Der Hal, if I remember right. Uh, Iskeld's lookout. Iskeld's lookout's to the south of us. So that must be the one down the road to the high crank, isn't it? Yeah. And then there's this one, which everyone forgets about. And my game uh, might have crashed. Awkward, because you're being mauled by a bear and an eagle. That is. Definitely awkward. Don't worry, I'll save you. Yeah, so, you know, save, save my um, corpse, yeah. Archie wasn't bothering, but I've, I've made him join in. But well, everyone always <laughs> forgot about this one. I'll save you! Pop a heel up on you. There we go. Oh, wait, it's Geld's lookout is uh, up at Western Bruni Source. It's one of the ruins, as opposed to one of the. Oh, that's what I'm thinking of, yeah. You're thinking of a ruin, aren't you? You've got the ruins, which is Glenn's camp, uh, the bit of stairs. Yeah, it's Kel's lookouts where we found the chest. Because I'm getting yeah. confused between the passes and the, the ruins. Uh, yeah, Kirifem Ladris is coming from Rivendell. Wickleft, we've just done. Yeah, um, we, which is where we are now. Everyone forgot about this one. Because uh, the way that the quest in took you, it, it took you around like the northern Brunian cleft bit. Cause, just because of how the quest in like, route was. I always came up this way, though. Did you? Yeah. Most people tended to come round the other way just because of how the quest in took you, because it took you up towards Hellegrub way. Hmm. Separate, separate the, then coming back down to like the dwarf area there, yeah. So a lot of people tended to uh, tended to miss that one. Well, I'm just going to kill a few of these goblins while I'm here. Just so I can do something. Well, whilst I you know, log back in after Lotra's brilliant stability issues. <laughs> it has been a bit touch and go since they did the server move. Um, to the new data centre. Yeah, it's certainly not. It doesn't feel as responsive as normal. Okay, so what we need to do here then is we need to kill various goblins uh, to get some dwarven gold. And I've just had another pop-up quest to kill some wargs as well. Yeah. Um, but I'll probably wait until you're back to do the wargs. However, I'll probably kill some goblins because I can get some potentially some pages out of these guys if they're feeling yeah, generous. Yeah. Um, generous, yeah. <laughs> so there might be some silver lining to this while you're relogging. Um, did I actually spend? I don't think I actually spent that point, did I? Um, I should probably look at this. Um, what are my options? Nice. Restraint, reduce the melee skill power cost. Captains can be a bit power hungry. I mean, if there's one class you're going to say is is still in yeah, danger of running out of power, it's probably the cappy, but. It's not as bad as it used to be. Well, they removed the power restore off uh, Blade of Elendil as well, which would yeah. help. I can get an extra melee critical chance percentage, and then 20% actual damage when I crit as well, so I think that's probably going to be my commitment on that trait line. And he's back! So I'm just slightly north of you. Uh -huh. And if you wander up pretty quick, there is a, uh, a walk we can kill. Where's my herald gone? <laughs> He's um, right off. Is he dead? Well, I, I didn't see him die. He has well, a tendency to do that. Well, you just have to look. Do you still have a he do you still have a companion? No, I don't have. Him? I don't have. A, that's the thing. I'm not sure if he died or whether like sometimes he just can't be asked reappearing after I get off my horse. He seems to be confused half the time. There we go. Bring him out again. Now, just imagine that happening to you in an instant. Yeah, if it's the healer or the tank that goes disconnected, it's like, for fuck's sake, no! 
at the end of a like, really hard raid. It was actually more about your, your little buff bot disappearing, but yeah. Generally. Yeah, <laughs> well that's that as well. Platinum! Yoink. So the ruins then. The bitter the, stair which is, is the, is the one up the, the road up to Heligrod, so that's far to our northwest. We might have to poke our nose up there at some point. Well we do. But, uh, I'm not sure if we do for the quest or not though. Evil Meg is just at the at the okay. foot of the bitter stair. So we have to go put a sign saying, Don't go up here. The men are evil. I, but we no. put it at the top of the hill, even though that the whole bloody cliff is like ball, full of yeah. evil men. Yeah. And if you've got to that point, you're either dead or you don't give a shit, so... <laughs> yeah. I imagine that there'll be a couple of, um, uh, you know, like, dr uh, like triggered quests to kill a few of the uh, Concor up there, because there used to be quests More to than kill likely. Some. There used to be quests to kill some of them, but then since Gloin no longer gives them, I imagine it's going to have to be that case. Oh, Archie did it. Archie killed a walk With a knife. Nice, nice to know he's useful for something. Well, he just, no, he sat there doing, it's like, um, what me and Rial were complaining about our companions in Star Wars at the moment, is they just stand there and watch, and that's all Archie's doing. Like, he just watches us take down the entire bloody thing, and then at the very end he decides he, he wants to last hit it and get the kill still, yeah. Um, but he's on... He's on guard at the minute. I mean, I could stick him on aggressive, but then he's probably just going to run off and Leroy stuff, which is probably going to end badly, to be honest. Um, Don't need a little well, I, can probably st I can probably get away with it while we're out in the open, because, you know, there's a bit more space to manoeuvre. In Goblin Town, there's no way in hell I'm sticking him on aggressive. In Goblin Town, you have to kill everything and you've well, got you damn path everywhere. <laughs> Usually aggro's on you. Yeah, but. exactly. There we go. That's it. So that's 12 for me. Do you need more? I need uh, another two and then four more walks. Oh, I've got a walk over here. Yeah. Considering Epic Conclusion is meant to be my big hit skill, it doesn't really feel like it. It's a bit underwhelming, is it? It's the same with Shadow's Lament, which is meant to be like the captain's big like melee, like big like melee damage skill, and like either half the time it misses, or it it does like nothing. Even though it's a skill that's not like, never meant to like miss or be resisted on level. <laughs> yeah, and it still had a habit of missing, didn't it? Yeah. One of the other things I think I should also point out with the captain is. Uh, not only is it only playable as a as a man character, race of man, um, which is, is unique in that regard. Everything else is playable by at least two classes. Um, captains are also the only class that can currently use a halberd, which is what I'm currently wielding. It's the only class that's ever been able to use a halberd. The only one that has ever been able to use a halberd, yeah. So that's pretty unique. Um, and I've always traditionally used a halberd. I mean, these days there's not really any difference to it. Um, when I originally started playing, there were differences between all the different weapons. Um, so, like, halberds uh, would generate an increased threat when you hit enemies with them. Well, there still is a difference between, like, a halberd and a greatsword. Yeah, it's only how it looks, though, really. <laughs> no, no. There's, 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 like, a, there's, there's a tiny little, like, thing on it. So, yeah, like, a, a bit of... Halberd has the dagger all, uh, has the dagger passive. Or, or to attack like... critical chance. Yeah, which is bullshit. Yes. And... And the great sword has parry chance, which is good. Yeah, so I still like halberds. And at, at, you know, at points you did get expert halberd training or whatever. Oh, wait, we need to go up to the keep, don't we? Up to yeah. You, you get ex you used to get like you know adept in it, expert halberd, not expert in it, masters halberd training, didn't you? Which give you uh, passive two and a half percent and then five percent damage bonus for the halberd. Where are you going? Uh, up towards the keep. Hello, God. Uh, yeah, no, I was heading back down, and I was like, "Oh wait, we need to go up to the keep." Oh yeah, we do have that quest. Yeah, sorry, I wasn't my tracker. Um, like it was one, it was one percent and two percent, wasn't it, back in the day? But yeah, but now it's two and a half and five percent. Mm. But I, I never found that overly, you know, 
aren't much of any use because since you're basically locked into playing Race of Man anyway, Race of Man get um, 2%, well, it was 2%, it's now 5% damage bonus with one and two handed swords. So you could just use a two handed sword, still have the damage bonus because there's not enough racial, there's not enough racial skills that you're competing for like racial slots anyway. Um, and you know, you know, Bob's your uncle. You got you got the you know the bonus of the sword, which is generally better than the halberd, as well as the damage bonus. You know, that, that was just my thoughts on it. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, even even back before they changed the changed the sword of parry, back when like. Uh, you, like accuracy and hits and misses was still a thing. The sword give you uh, hit percentage, didn't it? Extra uh, hit chance. Extra, yeah. No, it wasn't crit. It was uh, hit percentage. Extra like, accuracy. Extra one percent accuracy. And going way, way back as well. Um, originally, all, all the different weapon types had different like attack oh, different, speeds and stuff like that. Speeds, so. Yeah. So some could hit really, really slow, but they hit really, really hard, and other Great ones axe. could be really fast and all that. Dagger. Um, but then they standardised with Merkwood, I want to say, somewhere around the Merkwood era. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, all cool. two-handed weapons were suddenly the same, and then all one-handed weapons were the same. So they had the same attack speed, they had to like, balance the damages out accordingly. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, when, so, when so I, fundamentally, we, there was no difference between using a two-handed axe or a two-handed sword that do the same damage and the same tank speed and all that. Yeah. I mean, um, we, I don't we know why I'm coming up here. We've done this thing. I was wondering. Um, I was going to check see if any other quests propped, but apparently not. No, because we've we've triggered the ruins already, haven't we? So. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's the epic that has you kill some of the concar. There's definitely a quest Probably that is, yeah. has you kill. Oh some. shit. Well. MOT of the hillmen just popped up. Hey, they do count. They do count, but I need 150 of them. <laughs> we're, we're not doing that right now. Um, I'll leave you here for a bit then, Charlie. Yeah. We need like a montage. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Um, no, no thanks. That, that's my racial deed, that is. So, uh, tier 2, I want to say. That'll be tier 1, actually, mate. Well, yeah, the, no, but this is the one that has only two tiers. Oh, nope, have three tiers. Is it three tiers? Three tiers. And unfortunately, it's ah. the ones you actually want. <laughs> well, I kind of shot myself in the foot a bit that one. If I if I'd gone to the Lone Lands, I would probably would have got them up a bit with uh, some of the guys in the eastern side of that. Or if I'd done a bit more of the North Downs and done the guys east of Esteldin, that would have gone up a bit as well. But yeah, <laughs> Hillmen and Dunlendings. I mean, the, the fact that it includes Dunlendings now helps a lot. It is a blessing. Um, yeah. Because if you still haven't done these deeds by the time you get to like the Rise of Isengard expansion, level sixty five plus, you're gonna like blitz that in no time. <laughs> you really still done won't like, because it's one hundred and fifty, two hundred and fifty, um, then three hundred and fifty. You've, you've cheated your way back, and you. Yep. Yeah. I'll coin as well then. But it's a hell of a, a hell of a lot. But it gives you, if I remember right, it's balance of men. Then it's um, man heal, duty bound. And yeah, balance of man is the first one, and then yeah, balance of man, which is good because it gives you all around defensive stats. It gives you parry, block, and evade base stats. And I think the third one's like one of the silly ones, like the sword damage bonus or the fellowship one or no, something like that. So. It's not. You get duty yeah. bound as the second one, then you get uh, man heal, strength of man. Ah, okay. Which are you know pretty much all ones that you would normally use. I, uh, if I remember right, sword bonus is white two. Okay, just those white, two quests, isn't it? Yeah, white white's one. You can already see compared to the other regions that we've done that there's just like a lack of quests. In <laughs> yeah, the set. It's, it's it's very questing light. Essentially, we've, we've fairly done, easy. We've done like a quarter of the map, and we've had like bugger all the way of quests, which is pretty good because I think we're both looking forward to Aregian and getting uh, Aregian stuck on the road to Moria. It's a nice clean area to quest in, so. Full of nice amounts of lore. It looks nice. The music's good. Compared to like, it's probably amongst my favourite like, Eriador music next to possibly the North Downs because I really do enjoy the North Down music as well. 